CX-11, CXI-1100, Kawasaki jet ski. So, I've been doing some shorts. I replaced the motor on this thing, run nice, mint. Well, my client needs kind of a wave attic, so he kept flipping it, flipping it, and flipping it more. So water got inside, so he sank it. Brought it to me and the electrical was all gone. It was, uh, I think I have a picture, I'll try to post it on the video, but this is what it looks like. That was full of water, rust, as you can see. The storage solenoid is gone. The electrical broke. It just gave up, see? The terminals just corroded so much, they're gone. I don't know if that, uh, the rectifier is good, maybe it's good. I don't know if the CDI box is good. I'll try to test it on my own personal jet skis. See the fuse. Corroded. And before I had another job where I uh, replaced uh, another CD, uh, CDI box or another E box. In this case, this one had a back rectifier. So the back rectifier burned all the electrical all the way to the stator. So to recap on these 98 CX-11, CX-8-1100, I replaced the motor, I replaced the stator, I replaced the pickup coil, I had it running nice, so of course the spark plugs, uh, hoses, clamps, blah blah blah. And at this point I'm not feeling like repairing that box. I might be able to make a box out of that, maybe yes, maybe not. but. My client decided to go the other route, which so big, we picked up a, uh, a 96 CXI 1100E box. Came from all the way from Wisconsin. I'm gonna go over it, but uh, the purpose of this video is that when you have these jet skis and you get water in it, make sure it doesn't get to the E box. And how? Do, what, what I mean by making sure, if you buy one of these, you can buy them anywhere from $1,000 to $4,000, depending on how clean they are. But always make sure these, these little prongs are not broken. These little connector thing, you see this one has got JB Wells, I'm gonna leave it like that. It seems like it's gonna work fine. But these PVC, these PVC uh, connectors or whatever they're called, they break off, water gets in them, bad. Number two, you come across a no spark situation. Before you start changing the CDI box or the E-box completely, take a look at the readings on your stator and pickup coil. If that's not reading right, most likely it got burned, of course, or the bearing or the seal went bad and it chewed up along the way and it destroyed your stator. So that's something you wanna check before you start swapping parts. This thing is $400. So if it runs, mm -mm. if it doesn't run, I gotta do magic. Uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. So another advice, once you start putting your box in, especially in this case that was water damage and we're just replacing the box, make sure you open it and check this seal. There's a seal around here. You gotta make sure that's nice and intact. Lube it up and if it's broken, change it find a way to seal it water will seep in here plenty and also right here there is a gasket a seal too make sure that's clean these connectors were underwater so make sure you clean them that goes for the stator and the uh, the stator and the pickup coil so this is very important for spark they got to be clean when you sink a jet ski, also another thing you gotta do, take the spark plugs off. Once they're out, crank it, get that water out. And a two stroke, it's fine. And a four stroke, you gotta change that oil too and, and ride it 
and pray pray to God that shit doesn't get rusty. So you gotta do a couple of oil chains ASAP. The, the sooner you get the water out, the better. In this case, it did get a little locked up. I'm not sure how deep he got, but there was some water. See? So make sure it's all clean. And after that, you should be okay. I can smell the fuel now, so let's go from there. These plugs are fresh. They're brand new. I just put them in. Now, piece of advice. I'm not telling you what to do. If you want to go brand new plugs, that's perfect. That's the best route. Me, I'm going to do my old school trick. I was taught by some old timers. I know they're brand new, so up to you. If you try them, good luck. If it doesn't work, don't blame me. Blowing, you should be all set. Like I said, that's an old timer's trick. Up to you if you try it. And that's the final product. Like I said, regular propane torch, hand torch, anything hotter than that will melt the tips. Oh, by the people that will say, ah, you're doing something, blah, 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 blah. It gets hot, in he hot as hell inside the cylinder head. So that's just cleaning them up, the car. old school. It's empty. Good luck. And just like that. Nah, just kidding. It took balls. Freaking think they want to start. And with that, I conclude my video, guys. I'm gonna try to post more videos about the stuff I do. You know, cars, bikes, jet skis. Uh, I do a little bit of, as I said, I do a little, bit of, a little bit of everything. I do cars, bikes, jet skis, music, home improvement, stuff like that. It runs, it's alive. Another Kawasaki. So listen, um, I'm gonna start doing more videos about the stuff I do, cars, bikes, jet skis, uh, ATV, side by side. Sometimes, you know, I don't have anybody to uh, help me filming it, recording it, so I have to kind of do it myself. But hey, give me, you know, throw me a like, subscribe. I'm gonna start doing more videos. I just picked up a new project. I'm gonna call it Phoenix. STX 1100. I picked it up in Missouri. It's messed up. If I can get it running, so can you. So follow me. I'm gonna start putting videos on, on, on the stuff that I do. See, golf cars, I trailer stuff, I tow stuff, I fix jet skis, trucks, little projects. I do it all. Show me love. This is El Marquis J. Peace.